Hey guys, welcome back to BeerGeekNation.com. I'm your host, Chris, and today, as you can see, we are looking at a big review. We are looking at the Sierra Nevada. This is their Beer Camp 12 pack. 12 different beers, 12 brewery collaborations, all brewed at Sierra Nevada and released in various, well, styles. They released them in cans, different bottles, all different bottling on dates. The breweries in question that we are talking about today is going to be Firestone Walker, Ninkasi, Three Floyds, Ballast Point, Russian River, Bells, the Asheville Brewers Alliance, Victory Brewing, Allagash, New Glarus, Oscar Blues, and Cigar City to round it all out. This is Oscar Blues and Cigar City. They are the canned beers. So I think I need to address a situation though. The bottling on dates... Um, I'm in central Pennsylvania. The bottling on dates are some range from the beginning of May, some are the beginning of June. This still, about a week ago, has not hit central Pennsylvania. I believe it just hits about 20 miles from here, so probably next week it's going to be hit. So a lot of these beers are hoppy beers, and they're already six to nine weeks old. And as far as I can tell, there was only one release of this series, so I don't know. Um, I want to get into it. I think a lot of you guys have had this. Um, is it worth the money? It is an expensive 12 pack. It's around 30 bucks, 35 bucks for a 12 pack. So let's do this one by one. Let me get into it and give you the final verdict on the Sierra Nevada big old beer camp 12 pack. All right, guys. So we're getting into the first four beers here. Kind of wanted to do the more malty kind of uh, non-hoppy beers. I guess I should say before I move into those in no order whatsoever, just kind of randomly picked four. Um, so we are looking at Tater Ridge, and this was the one they brewed with the Asheville Brewers Alliance, which is now, they are brewing in Asheville, North Carolina. So they got all the little brewers there and said, hey guys, wanna brew a beer with us? And this is a Scotch Ale brewed with sweet potatoes coming in at 7% alcohol by volume. The next one we are looking at is called Myron's Walk. It's a Belgian style pale ale brewed with coriander. Uh, this was brewed with Allagash Brewing out of uh, Maine, 5.3% uh, alcohol by volume. The next one is the Alt Root Alt Beer uh, coming at 6.6% and brewed with Victory Brewing. You know, those guys do some good German beer and the Alt Beer is no exception to that one. And last but certainly not least is the There and Back English Style Bitter Brewed with uh, New Glarus, I believe out of, I want to say Wisconsin, coming in at 5.6% alcohol by volume. So I don't know really where to start, so I'll start with the bitter, uh, since that's kind of the most neutral beer. Eh, it's fine. Uh, it's an English style bitter, nothing special about it. Uh, slight maltiness, nice kind of crisp sweetness, uh, very clean, very palatable, um, kind of a good food beer, very generic type of beer. I, I'm not a big fan of the English style bitter. Honestly, it's one of my least favorite styles. A couple of these beers in this lineup are my least favorite styles, uh, but yeah, it's solid. It, it is what it is, an English style bitter. The Alt Beer um, from Victory, and this is the Alt Root. Again, probably another one of my least favorite styles. These two, kind of wanted to get those over with, but let's, let's try this one. Cheers. Yeah, it's fine. Nice maltiness, nice kind of uh, 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 sweet caramel toffee, um, very light caramely characteristic to it, very drinkable. Again, you know, classic German stuff from Victory, I would expect nothing less. You know, these two are perfect examples of the style, nothing more, nothing less, kind of just very generic. They're here, sure, they're part of the set, but other than that, eh. So this one I was looking forward to. Myron's Walk. I love Allagash Brewing. They do some crazy stuff. That's very nice. Um, it kind of verges on like a Saison. You get that Saison characteristic kind of melding with a little bit of a Belgian uh, wit beer type of beer. Definitely get the coriander. Definitely get the whatever yeast strain they're using. And I don't know if Sierra Nevada used their proprietary yeast strains on all these or if the brewers brought their yeast strains. I don't know how that worked out. But definitely getting a Belgian-y style Flavor on this one, definitely getting a Saison, kind of Belgian-y wit beer. Get the coriander, it. very clean, very crisp, you know, very Sierra Nevada. I like that one the best so far. And this one, the sweet potato one, looking forward to this one. I love a good Scotch ale, but with sweet potatoes, who knows? Oh, oh excuse me, wow, really nice. 
Wow, yeah, definitely get big caramel toffee. Uh, definitely get kind of a, a, a big mouthfeel to it, and that's probably the sweet potato. You don't get, sweet potatoes don't lend a lot of flavor to beer. They just give kind of fermentable sugars and kind of uh, body to it. You definitely get that in this one. Uh, caramel, toffee, kind of that uh, slight, um, uh, it's hard to explain, like a scotch kind of a smokiness to it, a little bit of dark fruit in there. Very, very nice. So let's move on to the next four. All right, guys, so on to the second batch of the uh, Sierra Nevada Beer Camp, and figured I'd do the two cans for lack of any other reason, but because we do the two cans, I don't know. Uh, all right, so on the left, we are looking at uh, Yvonne the Great. It's a Belgian-style Blondale brewed with uh, its Russian River, coming in at 6.3%. In one of the cans, we are looking at Yonderbach. It's a tropical Maybach uh, brewed with Cigar City. Uh, they use some different hop strains in this one. Alcohol, 7.7. .7. And again, this one was brewed or canned on, yeah, May 4th. So this one's old. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, that's an old beer. Um, next can, we are looking at Can Fusion Rybach. It's a Rybach, obviously. 7.2% brewed with Oscar Blues, one of my favorite breweries. Uh, out of Colorado. And the final is Malliard's Odyssey, an Imperial Dark Ale. Brewed in collaboration with Bellsbury, 8.5%, 40 IBUs. I, I'm assuming some kind of stout-ish type of beer. Uh, so we will go from left to right, from light to darkest. It kind of worked out nicely. So this is the Russian River. Yeah, it's fine. Um, a little bit like a like a star anise type of flavor, black licorice type of flavor, uh, Belgian-y, yeasty, uh, a little bit of uh, biscuity flavor to it. It's, yeah, it's a, it's fine. A lot of black licorice. That's I get black licorice in this. I don't know if that's what they used in it or not, but I'm definitely getting some black licorice in there. So moving on to the, uh, what is this? A Tropical Maybach from Cigar City in Sierra Nevada. Yeah, no hops at all. Um, it's, it's a Maybach, you know, straight up German style Bach beer, caramely, toffee. Uh, big malt body to it. I don't get any hops in it. Yeah, that's a, that's a kind of a disappointment. Um, I was hoping for more hop flavor, but again, it was brewed, you know, or canned almost three months ago. So it's hard to say. And we are looking at the Canfusion Rybach from Oscar Blues here. That's nice. I like that one. A um, little bit of spice to it. Definitely get that rye kind of, uh, again, it's an earthy, spicy kind of body feel to it. Very crisp, very clean, no after flavor to it. I definitely like that one. Uh, one of my favorites so far. I'm not a big Bach guy, but I like that one a lot. So we are moving on to the Malliard's Odyssey. Imperial Dark Ale. I'm not sure... Uh, yeah, it doesn't really say what they brewed it with, but hey, cheers. Yeah, it's definitely like a stout chocolate coffee, a little bit of dark fruit right the front of the tongue, um, middle of the mouth, big kind of body to it. It's definitely get that chocolate, again, coffee, kind of stouty characteristic. They're called Imperial Dark Ale. You know, it... it yeah. I wouldn't call it an imperial stout, but definitely a stout characteristic. So again, you know, four beers, not blowing my mind. <laughs> um, I think by far, I think the Bells and the Oscar Blues so far have been the best. But hey, let's go on to the next four, the Hoppy Four, as we should finally see. All right, guys, so we are back doing the final four of the 12-pack of the Sierra Nevada Beer Camp. Three Hoppies, one kind of coffee imperial, uh, is it imperial stout? Eh, coffee stout. Uh, we'll call it a stout. So from left to right, we are looking at the Chico King Pale Ale, brewed with uh, Three Floyds Brewing. This is 6.5%. I heard this is supposed to be a lot like zombie dust, but I don't actually know because they don't describe it on the back. Uh, the second one, we are looking at the Electric Ray India Pale Lager from Ballast Point Brewing. So 8.5%. Uh, wow, big beer. They know how to brew an IPL. So if anyone can save this set, I, I 
my hope is right here and these two beers are my two hopes the next one the second hope is uh torpedo pilsner hoppy pilsner brewed in color collaboration with uh firestone uh 5.2 percent they basically took a pilsner and ran it through their um torpedo the, the sierra nevada torpedo system so hopefully that one's all right and Last but certainly not least, we are looking at the Double Latte Coffee Milk Stout Ale brewed with coffee and lactose added brewed with, uh, brewed, by, brewed by and with Ninkasi Brewing, 7.6% alcohol by volume. They are out of Washington, so hopefully they know something about coffee. So let's start with the Chico King Three Floyds. This was bottled on 515, so a hoppy pale ale that's almost three months old as it gets to market. Not comfortable with this, but let's, let's try it. Very little hop in the aroma. Yeah, it, 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 it's fine. Um, I'm being nice. It's it's fine. Uh, no hop whatsoever. Slight bitterness at the front tongue, um, but it's not what I would expect from Sierra Nevada and or Three Floyds, especially not Three Floyds. Um, they do some crazy hobby beers, and this beer is not one of their best. I would. This is. It's just a meh. It's another meh for this set. So we're now looking at the electric, uh, the electric ray from Ballast Point, one of my favorite breweries. Cheers. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Super hoppy, super hoppy. A lot of grapefruit, uh, that West Coast kind of dry bitterness, but it's got that loggery type of cleanliness uh, to it. When was this bottled on? Six, yeah, 623. So this is a very uh, recent bottling. You can taste that hoppiness in there. So far, this is probably my favorite. Uh, moving on to the Torpedo Pilsner from Firestone Walker and Sierra Nevada. Another, damn it. Another, another one. It's just so mediocre. Um, mediocre. It, it's fine. It's, it's, it's fine. It's a fine Pilsner. It's not, it's not hoppy enough. Um, and again, it was bottled on... 528, so again, looking almost two months old um, by the time it gets to the consumer. Um, that's rough. I, I, there's something there. It's, it's a slightly, it, I mean, it's clean. It's a slightly hoppy kind of uh, flavor to it, but it's nothing I would expect through the, the Sierra Nevada, you know, pills, or the, the torpedo system. So let's move on to the, uh, was it Double Latte from Nikasi. That is nice. Um, big coffee, big chocolate, kind of everything I look for in a stout. Um, I love, I, I don't drink coffee, but I love the smell of it. I love the taste of it. I don't like the bitterness of it, and this doesn't have that. Um, actually, really nice. I think this is probably my favorite of the batch. So I'm gonna come back to you guys with the final verdict on the Sierra Nevada Beer Camp. I, I have torn feelings about this one. Uh, I'm, I'm going to give it like as a collected, like, you know, whole kind of anthology. I'm going to give it a C and I think that's being pretty generous. Um, there's a whole lot of meh going on with this uh, beer set. Uh, a couple standouts for me, I think the... Uh, Electric Ray, uh, India Pale Lager from Ballast Point was awesome. I think the Double Latte from Nikasi with Sierra Nevada was awesome. And I really like the, uh, the uh, uh, crap, I lost it. Uh, right, no, right here. The uh, Milliards uh, Odyssey. Um, I think the Dark Gale, which is basically a stout. So, <laughs> um Again, uh, the the bottling on dates, I'm I'm seeing them. I, I just have mixed feelings about it. What do you guys think? Please comment in the section below. But some of these beers are almost three months old, and they're just now hitting certain markets. I don't think that's a 
acceptable at all, especially when a Three Floyds beer, a Chico King, they're calling it a pale ale, a hoppy pale ale, is three months old. I mean, this thing was bottled on 515. That is just not cool, especially at 70 bucks a case or, you know, at 30, 35 bucks uh, for a 12 pack. I, I, I just can't get on board with this thing. And again, thank you, Vinny at qualityliquorstore.com for hooking me up with this, but I just... There was a double IPA they released. At, um, it was in 22 ounce bottles. Separate to this, I heard that's awesome. I haven't had it yet. Um, again, you know, let me know what you guys think about that. But I think in general, this is getting a C. And again, I think I'm being real nice to that. Um, I think it's one of those, the parts are better than the whole. I think all these breweries are fantastic breweries. I don't think they brewed their best beers for this set or Sierra Nevada didn't brew their best beers for this set. And that's the best thing I can say about it. Um, yeah, just an epic, epic disappointment. Probably the biggest disappointment of 2014. And I can say that with, without a shred of doubt, just a big old fat fail. Uh, it's, um, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. So with that said, getting a C and again, being very generous, I don't recommend you guys, uh, try this. It's just not worth the money. It's not the breweries are better than this set combined. So with that said, getting a C for me and remember folks, life's short, drink amazing beers and please like comment and subscribe. Cheers.